International Airport also announcing that it will resume operations tomorrow at 10 a.m. Melissa Marino joining us now live at the airport with the latest on the efforts to get everything back up and running there. I, I guess they flew out a lot of these planes and now they have to fly them back in, the crews, the pilots, all of the things that go with making an airport operational. So tell us more about it, Melissa. Well, that's exactly right. Good afternoon, Keith. They flew out every single plane, they tell us. So now, as you mentioned, it's working to get it back up and running. They also had to do damage assessments. Luckily, they tell us they suffered very minimal damage, so they are ready to open again tomorrow. But they want to warn passengers it is going to be extremely busy as they try to catch up. So I want to show you some video I mentioned. This is of the crews doing damage assessments today after the hurricane. We're told they expect, inspected all the runways and taxiways for damage, standing water, and to make sure the airfield is safe. So far, they only really suffered roof leaks, they tell us, and they have hundreds of workers right now getting the airport back up and running. They will resume some cargo operations this evening at 7 p.m., and then passenger flights will take off tomorrow at 10 a.m., starting at 10. Now, back out here live, we're told over 1,000 flights so far have been canceled coming in and out of Tampa because of the storm, and that even includes some flights already tomorrow, over 100 flights. Again, they expect it to be very busy tomorrow. They want passengers to arrive two hours early at the minimum, and if you have any issues, contact your airline directly. Melissa Marino, 8 on your side. It's going to be like a holiday.